Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we are having a little walk to investigate where we are. It's quite a main road, but it's also quite quiet. It says we are entering a quiet lanes area. I don't know what that means. It's very beautiful. Very countrysidey. We're surrounded by hills and fields and the smell of cows which I happen to like. Farm shop and tea room. 300 metres. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. <laughs> He's a fast one, isn't he? <laughs> oh, over he goes. So we're there, I'm going to come, you can come down here. So you can walk all the way down to the reservoir if we wanted. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that at some point. Dan took the girls back because Phoebe wants to get her sunglasses. So I'm currently on this road, well, footpath, completely on my own. Which is a state I'm never in. <laughs> They're going to catch me up or I'll catch them up on my way back. If I keep walking down here, I will end up... Oh, I've got a bit of fluff hanging on. There we go. Countryside fluff. If I keep walking down here, I will arrive at a reservoir. But I'm only wearing flip-flops. It's already really hot. We've got a second day of really hot weather today before it cools down. It's going to be another day of 32 degrees. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yes, I might not get that far, but I will at some point this holiday. Put my trainers on. I've got all my walking gear with me and my paddle boarding gear. We all have in case we can find somewhere to go paddle boarding. But I'm definitely going to get a good long walk in at some point. This afternoon, we are going to go to the Blackpool Air Show. It's the second day of the Blackpool Air Show. It's going to be very busy and very peopley, but it's a free event. And it happens to be on the first full day that we're here. So we'll take you along with us. Hopefully show you the likes of the red arrows if all goes to plan. But if it doesn't, holidays are made for breaking plans, aren't they? Oh, there's our sheep. This is our sheep that we look at. And then that red brick building there is where we're staying. Get a sense of it. And the house next door is the owner's house. And you can just see the distant hills. The enthusiastic stride of a teenager being made to walk in the countryside. Wearing impractical platform boots. She also has the hiccups. <laughs> which is not adding to her enthusiasm. The cows that were in the potted field last night, I think they've used up here. It is hot and boiling and far more busy, I think, than we could even have imagined. I'm literally like dying. Yes. So we're going to get some lunch. It's cost us £21 to get this far, but car parking in the tram. There's the Blackpool Tower. So that's exciting. We'll be going there on Tuesday. But right now, because of the air show, it's horrendous. Will we actually stay for any of it? Watch this space. Planes.
we, for £2.50, have just bought ourselves some shade. <laughs> I have a blister, so I have flip flops now. Bought you some flip flops. Just gonna, we're just get, waiting for Dan to come and get, he's, he went to get the car. And then we're just going to stand in the shade here. And the once taxi. we're in the car, we will explain how our day went. Hi, Jack. Bear with me here as I didn't explain in the car like I said I would but I do in a minute at our next destination. Basically we gave up on the air show as it was just so hot and so busy so we headed off for a more peaceful location which you'll see in a few seconds. Sheep in the road is a fairly common sight in rural areas in this part of the UK. I'm guessing it's too remote and vast for fences all along the road and the cattle grids keep them from straying too far from where they're supposed to be. We're about to pass over a cattle grid just here. This bit of the road was so beautiful that I left the camera running for a little bit so I could share just a minute of the drive with you. Enjoy. So it was hotter and busier than I think we'd accounted for and we enjoyed the first part of the air show then it slowed down a little bit and then we were just getting so hot and tired uh, that we got back on the tram which was horrific <laughs> it was worse than the London Underground and headed back to the car and decided to detour on our way home through the trough of Boland which we have done and we are currently sitting here which is a vast difference to where we were an hour ago got our feet in cold water, we've all had cold drinks, we've been sitting in the air-conditioned car for 45 minutes and all is well. So we've ended the day on a nice peaceful note and we did have a nice time in Blackpool we'll be back there on Tuesday to see a bit more when it's a bit quieter. We ended up talking to the conductor on the tram and he said it would be better on Tuesday so just a lot going on this weekend. We're going to enjoy this peace and quiet. I don't think you expect to see an elf or a uh, deer up here out of the woodland. Good morning from me and my new friend. She's the limping sheep. Can you see she's got a limp? She also sneezes quite a lot. I never knew a sheep could sneeze. It's Monday and it's significantly cooler than it has been for the past a couple of days here in Lancashire uh, and we're going to see where the day takes us. Our plan at the moment is to go and have a paddle in the stream that runs um, through the trough of Boland and then maybe go and do a bit of witch hunting uh, on a trail near Pendle Hill or we might go paddle boarding this afternoon. Uh, we're just going to see how we feel. We all desperately want to get out on the water again. Uh, you, you might have seen the, the vlog we did where we tried our hand at paddle boarding for the first time and we loved it. And we have since been again with the same uh, instructor and we're, we're, we're now itching to get back out. So there's a place about half an hour from here near Blackpool 
uh, where we can go and have a paddleboard on a lake and we might do that today if not we're hoping to do that at some point this week so that's exciting so let's go and see where the day takes us We thought we'd found the perfect spot, but too many midges. As soon as we sat down to relax and think about our picnic, we were swarmed. So we're going to keep going. It wasn't like that at the bit we stopped at yesterday. So the search continues. Onwards. Onwards. Location number two. We are just checking out the paddling opportunity. Right, Lily, I went straight in. Very good. Paddling looks good. Very pretty spot, this one. I want to stay here, do you? The sun came out. It's a sign. So the conclusion is we're going to have a paddle, but we're going to eat our picnic in the car because I think midges is just a thing. But don't bother us when we're paddling. There's a bit here that's almost deep enough to swim in and I'm saying that I want to try. It's freezing but it's clear. I've got my swimming costume in the boot and they're daring me. I'll try it with you. <gasps> I will not try Come it with Come on then! <laughs> <laughs> Go home now. <laughs> and here you can see freshwater mermaids. So after our cold water dip, we drove down the road to see on the off chance if we could get a space to do some paddle boarding at Blackpool Wake Park. And we were lucky and we got straight in. I can actually see myself now. Right, I'm on the board, but my GoPro battery keeps running out. And I'm having a marvellous time. There's Dan. place I've now fallen in about five times and I'm having so much fun <laughs> wetsuits are my new favorite thing paddle boarding is amazing the water is lovely and it's pouring with rain and everyone's having a marvelous time <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I've got interesting hair. Um, we spent, well, I definitely spent more time in the water than on the paddleboard. How did everyone find our third paddle boarding experience? I loved it. Loved it. Was it. Amazing, but I, I lost loved one it of my so earrings. Oh yeah, Phoebe lost one of her earrings, poor thing. But don't worry, we are going to get a replacement one. Can we buy a board now, please? Can we buy two boards, please? <laughs> it was we brilliant. So we were at Blackpool Wake Park and it was Brad that took us out. And it was a lovely... Brad's so cool. Yeah, he did a headstand on his board. He tried to teach me, but I think... And uh, it just felt like we were able to spend just under an hour messing about and practising. He showed us a few little techniques and moves and just getting a bit brave on our boards really weren't we and, and who joined the falling off club who is no longer scared of falling off <laughs> Lilia fell in a few times and also fair. we're all wetsuit converts now they were brilliant yeah uh, but I fell in learning a new trick so. yeah and you were doing you, you got no, back quicker than you the rest got of us fell in when we crashed into each other whilst learning a new trick yeah Phoebe so. also knocked me off and knocked you off your board today. Yes. She's a menace. <laughs> so now we're going to go to the supermarket to choose things for dinner. We're not going to smell nice in that supermarket. No, we? we all smell of lake. <laughs> We've just come home to new neighbours. Oh, you don't want me to come close. Hi. 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 Did you just stomp your foot at me? Is he an angry sheep? I think he is an angry sheep. Hello, angry sheep. Where's Mark and Terry? They weren't happy. There was one of them was stomping his feet at us. He was like, "Get out of it! This is my field." Oh, I love them so much. They're so funny. Got myself some frizzanti for tonight. I've also got to go and wash everything. There's a washing machine in the garage, and then we're going to rinse off. Oh my word, my hair! We're going to rinse off and we are going to jump into, well, not jump, step carefully into the hot tub. Hello, new friends. Hello. They're so funny. They make funny noises. We're making dinner. I've got fluffy hair from having had a shower. And why am I in the fridge? I'm making why? salad. No, not why. I'm getting the tomatoes, which are from, this is quite funny, so we've driven from Kent to Lancashire, and the tomatoes are grown at Planet Vanet, which is in Kent. That's better. Got you set up on the tripod. I'm going to start making the salad for Dan and I. The girls want uh, beans. We are having hot dogs. So we've got some sausages of different varieties in the oven, got some hot dog buns, Dan and I are going to have some salad and the girls are going to have beans, I've already said that and uh, it feels well earned because the temperature has dropped massively which for a uh, someone who struggles with the heat like me is, is brilliant and because we all got we all fell in numerous times during our paddle boarding session today which was so much fun and hilarious and the people at the Blackpool Wake Park were amazing weren't they? They were, they were lovely. Brad the instructor was great, the people in the cafe, they made a mean... Oh, that's, that's me, I've got to check the... I've got to check the chips. Chips are slightly overdone. The oven's a bit weird, we've managed to burn the garlic bread last night but um, can't work it out. It was five minutes ago, they were not even slightly cooked and now they're burnt. Anyway doesn't matter it's one of the joys of uh, of uh, hiring a house for the week isn't it is like you have to work all these things out and then just as you do work it out it's time to go home <laughs> red pepper one of my favorite things to have 
in a little salad. So when we got back, we all had a hot tub. And because it was so hot on the first two days, tonight was really the first night we uh, could appreciate it. We really enjoyed our hot tub. We stayed in there for about 20 minutes and then we all, we've all had showers and the girls are now chilling out in their room. There's a tractor going past outside. Uh, Lilia is like on the last few chapters of her book that she's reading. Uh, so she's desperate to get that finished and I'm not sure what Phoebe's doing probably filling in her holiday diary. She's been keeping a very detailed holiday diary. So far with my sketching, which I spoke about in the previous vlog, I am sticking to my old style of holiday sketchbook in my little just notebook. And I'm also doing the odd proper drawing in my proper sketchbook um, on the side as well. So I shall try to share that as I go along if I remember. Have I got anything else of interest to say, Dan? Who is cooking onions in the background? Um, no. 